Welcome to a journey through the history of art. We will travel along a timeline from the caves to the 19th century. My name is Dr. Jean Willette. Let's begin by making the familiar unfamiliar. And we become acquainted with a new kind of person called the Renaissance man. If Giotto can be considered one of the artists whose work marked the break from the medieval, then why did it take almost a hundred years for the Renaissance proper to begin? Art historian Millard Meese suggested that the cultural trauma of the Black Death, which ravaged Europe, set back artistic developments towards realism. Patrons, who had survived the calamity, were so shaken from their close brush with death that they reverted to the old, more spiritual, Byzantine, less worldly style. European culture took generations to fully recover, and when it did, artists in the northern part of Italy had completely digested the lessons of classicism, and they were competing with each other in a very important city-state. The year is 1402. To gain the commission to design the doors of the baptistry of the city's cathedral, Lorenzo Giberti and Filippo Brunelleschi emerged as the major contenders. The famous pair of quadrifoils depicting the sacrifice of Isaac shows that Giberti had won for the best visual solution to a complex story, and that Brunelleschi's future lay elsewhere. In 1420, Brunelleschi solved a problem that had thwarted builders for years, since 1300, how to build a dome for the cathedral in Florence, Santa Maria del Fiore. Later on, he also invented perspective, then considered a science, and he used a camera obscure to capture and copy reality. The fact that Brunelleschi could turn so ably from small-scale relief sculpture to monumentally scaled architecture initiates the concept of the Renaissance man, the highly educated artist who excelled at many occupations and had many skills. In addition to a growing number of civic and religious commissions for artists, there were private clients who asked artists to contribute to the interior decoration of their homes, their palaces. The Medici family were major artistic patrons, supporting the careers of Botticelli and Uccello. In their own individual fashions, these two artists exemplified two different responses to the Renaissance Uccello threw himself into the new invention of perspective, Brunelleschi's way of ordering a two-dimensional surface and organizing architecture and architectural spaces. Perspective was significant because due to its association with science, it elevated the status of artists who used it, turning them into intellectuals. Uccello's 1452 three-panel commission from the Medici's, the Battle of San Romano, was a conflict choreographed by a horizon line and ruled by orthogonals. He was a contemporary of Leon Battista Alberti, who succeeded Brunelleschi as the leading architect of the Renaissance. Alberti, another Renaissance man, wrote many treatises, from on painting to on sculpture, and lastly, on architecture. The latter book was inspired by the Roman architectural theorist Vitruvius. By the end of the century, Botticelli's classicism, a kind of sophisticated Neoplatonism, could recreate a unique pagan and philosophical world through iconography and symbolism, evoked by his inventive, lyrical, linear style. These Renaissance artists and architects changed the status of artists who became more important than the art. Art, which was once a reflection of the generosity or piety of the patron, was now an expression of the artist's erudition, intellectual abilities, and ability to invent new art for this new world. Although art continued to be in the service of the church or the state, or the aristocratic patron, the artists, having broken from medieval conventions, were increasingly in charge of the commissions, the execution, and the result. The groundwork was laid for a major conflict between a new kind of artist, full of confidence, and the aristocratic patron, backed by inherited privilege. Although unarticulated, the practice, if not the concept, of something we call artistic freedom came into being. 